so sit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you just can do the goal. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> yeah. So now you can sit here. Come on, guys. <laughs> no, I'm biased to the wrist. To the wrist. <laughs> on the game between the two and the scoreline I think still 0-0 zero, zero. good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome to Derby Day uh, currently playing is Eucharist versus Heritage scoreline currently is 0-0 zero, zero. Heritage have just been penalised um, Hillcrest, are they going to take a quick penalty? Nope. They tap and go. They've got to spread it. They've got to spread it. There you go. Good hands. Good hands. One-handed pass. Oh, I'm afraid that's been knocked forward by Hillcrest. That'll be a scrum down to Heritage. Do you think the tap and go was a good option or they should have just kicked or touch? I think your best option is you play in the opposition's yeah, yeah. Um, half. Get it into touch, win your line out, you go from there. Play in the opposition's half. And uh, we now have a heritage uh, scrum. Looks like a setup pretty well. Um, but I have seen in the last, uh, this whole week, that the handling has, has not been great whatsoever. Yeah, I can Ooh, attribute, uh, since it's a pre-season tournament, yeah. I think they'll get better with time. A kick there by Heritage, and a great take on their own ball. Great take. He goes down. Hillcrest Tyke came over the top, and it's been cleaned out. Hands again. We have another handling error. <laughs> Rare for today is Scotty Jones, former Sables and Cheetahs player, now currently with the Zimbabwe Referee Society. Those listening, come down to St. John's. It's going to prove to be a very, very good day. Lots of music, lots to eat, lots to drink. And lots of rugby to watch. Lots of rugby <laughs> to watch, yes, sir. That's the main thing. Oh, that's not, that is not straight by Hillcrest. And it'll be scrum down to Heritage. I like the way that uh, Scotty Jones uh, referees. He lets the game flow, he lets the kids play, and that's what we're here to see. So far the game looks like it's 50-50. You can't really tell which side is dominating. Giddy, it looks like um, this is might be a close one. Yeah, I agree. I Penalty agree. Uh, advantage now to um, Heritage. They ship it out left. Short side. And there's a big run here. Oh, and he's knocked it on again. Another handling error. Another handling error, Giddy, as you say. Uh, I think so far they're trying to run the ball, but we're having many stops because of the handling errors. Once they fix that, I think we're going to have a more f uh, free-flowing game from both sides. But your point, the, the point earlier on, Giddy, is it is pre-season. Pre-season games. There yeah. is a lot of uh, handling errors, um, and I've seen in the last, last this whole week is a lot of high tackles as well, which for is quite concerning. For for refs, uh, for this tournament, we've been encouraged not to show cards. Um, so if it's uh, that bad uh, will ask the player to get substituted and someone else will come in. I think it's for the guys to get more game time. Well, it's a Do big you think scrum. It's, a good, it's a good thing? I think it's a good thing, but I think the kids need to learn early on. You yeah, know, if they're going to... Yeah. 
enhance their career and go into, into much senior rugby, you know, trying to play for their provinces that they've got to learn from an early age. You yeah, don't high tackle. So, yes, maybe no cards, but, um, but they should be substituted. Yeah, I agree with you, Craig. I agree with you. Heritage has just been awarded a penalty. Do they take the quick tap? I don't think so, no. Mr. Jones has asked them to get 10 back. Uh, close um, to the five meter line. So I'm sure they will tap and go here. Yep, there they go. Tap. The big man's running. And he stops short of the line. I think that's going to be held up. Held up. That's been held up. Great defense there by Hillcrest. Saw them play during the week. Their defense has been good. Craig, I think this goes down to decision making as well. Would you ask your player to go for poles or take that quick tap or maybe go for a line out? I think it all comes back to decisions, decisions. Yeah, I think earlier on like this, earlier on like this, 10 minutes into the game, maybe you go for posts. Yeah, I agree. Scoreboard yeah. pressure. Anyway, Hillcrest clear. Big, big kick. And it's picked up there by Heritage. He runs back hard. And looks like he's going to be held up in the tackle. They've got to get it to ground. They've got to get it to ground, else I'll lose this. They've got to get it to ground. Scotty Joe's has called play on. Heritage go down. Oh, and it's a counter ruck, ruck again. Oh, it's well picked up now. Knocked forward again by Heritage and knocked forward by Hillcrest. Comedy of errors. Scrum down Heritage. Oh, Scrum Hillcrest. down Hillcrest ball. But what I have been impressed with uh, Giddy uh, this whole week is some of the speed of these kids. Ah, lightning quick, lightning quick. You know, compared to our days uh, when we played, well, my day, not your day, <laughs> you're still a young man. <laughs> when I played, it was never as quick as this. It was more physical. More it was physical. more physical, yeah, correct. Anyway, Hillcrest put the ball in. Oh, it's a good shove from Heritage. Hillcrest spread it wide. Oh, that's a good run. That's a good run. He's off. Is he going to make it? Whoa. It's a good tackle. He's still going. He's been hit from behind. And they look now to spread it out wide. Numbers on the outside. They just need to pass it wide. It's pass it. He's got to pass it now. He's got to pass it. That's it. That's it. Good cover defense by great. Heritage. Yeah, that's great defense by Heritage. Great defense. That was a certain try. Good attack by Eucharist there. Unfortunately, they've just been knocked out into touch. Good speed shown by the wingers. I do believe watching Heritage right throughout the week um, that they haven't got the firepower to stop Hillcrest. But at the moment, uh, their defense has been great. So yeah, a short arm penalty to Hillcrest because Heritage are taking too much time yeah, throwing the ball to the line out. Yeah. And I'm sure they'll maybe call a scrum or a tap and go. There we go. There's the tap and go. They ship it wide. Number 10. He's let it go. Center cuts back in. Hillcrest go over. Ship it wide again. Good hands. Good hands. Pass it out to the wing. He's going to go. No, he's been stopped again. Scotty Jones on the scene. At the moment, for him, it looks like a crime scene. Never mind them all. <laughs> Opportunity, Eucharist. Try time.
try time, Eucharist College. They now lead 5-0. Good run there by the number 10. The um, heritage defense there was actually very bunched up and they couldn't stop Hillcrest going wide. They need to reform quickly. So let's see how they come back from this. I must say they defended quite well. Past attacks they had managed to defend, but unfortunately, Eucharist kept on coming at them and they have scored. Conversion and successful score remains 5 0 to Eucharist College. We start with Heritage taking off. <laughs> Big tackle by Heritage College, they line out to Heritage. Good one and on defense there. Here it is to throw into the line out. No contest there from Hillcrest. Heritage were going to ship it wide, but they decided to come back in. And Hillcrest, that's a great counter ruck. Great counter ruck. And another counter ruck, but uh, Hillcrest come away with the ball. And they take them up front again. And now they're going to run it wide. Use their pace on the outside. There they go. Oh, looks like that's knocked on again. Yeah, this handling needs to be. Uh, shined up a bit that they're going to compete this season. Yeah, I agree with you, Craig. Once you have this momentum, you have to try and utilize it and make sure you try and get points on the board. Score remains 5-0 to Eucharist College. Handling mistake by Heritage College, it's a scrum to Eucharist. Hillcrest uh, scrum has looked very, very good this morning. So they should have no problem whatsoever getting this ball back out to their backs. Let their backs go.
advantage for Winokon to Heritage College. Let's see if they can make use of that advantage. No advantage gained. We're going back to the scrum down. Looks like uh, six minutes to go before half time. Heritage will definitely want to get a score on the board before half time. Put some pressure back on Hillcrest. At their moment, they are playing in their own half. They need to be playing in the opposition's half. Good scrum by Hillcrest. And they ship it wide. And in they go into contact. And another handling error. Giddy, this is. They need to sharpen up here. I think that's been the Achilles heels for Heritage right now. It's been their handling mistakes. Every time they have the momentum, they're losing that ball forward. So I think maybe at halftime, the coach maybe has to talk to the boys and tell them to keep that ball more. And it's another scrum down to Eucharist College. Let's see if they can make use of the position they have right now. Penalty to Heritage for side entry. Giddy, I think this is what Heritage needs to do. Play in Hillcrest half. Give himself half a chance. Yes. Yeah. You know, to score a try. Get a handing error from Hillcrest. Get a scrum down. Use the eighth man. Go blind. Use their wings. They need to get points on the board before half time. I agree with you, Craig, and I think most importantly right now is for them to, to, to keep that ball and try and avoid the handling mistakes. Turnover ball stolen by Eucharist College. Knocked forward in the tackle by Heritage, Hillcrest ball. I honestly think, Giddy, now Hillcrest, if they want to score before half time, they need to play in Heritage's half. You, you make a mistake in your own half, then you're in trouble. We need to get it into Heritage's half. Let's see what they do. Collapse scrum. But it looked like there that the scrum half was going to take it blind. I think they just need to kick it and play it in Heritage's half. Once they make a mistake in their half, it might prove costly since we're approaching half time. Let's see how they're going to do it right now, Craig. Oh, that's a great scrum by Heritage. Turnover ball. Are they gonna run it? Are they gonna score before half time? Keep ball in hand, young man. Keep ball in hand. Advantage to Heritage. Advantage, penalty. Playing the ball on the ground. Do they tap and go? Yes. They tap and go. And the number 12 goes. Stopped short of the line. Here, retain possession. 
And they ship and they go in again into contact. Can they score before half time? Well, it's good defense from Hillcrest. Penalty. Penalty playing the ball on the ground. They've lost the opportunity now. And Hillcrest will clear this ball. And that should be that should be half time. Five nil to Hillcrest. Welcome back to the final day of the Derby Week. Uh, 
Right, Heritage resume second half. Hillcrest leading 5-0. I think they'd be very keen to get rid of these handling errors. Oh, it's just balls being thrown away, gathered by Heritage. <coughs> Let's see if Heritage can make use of their territory. That's where they need get They need to play in Hillcrest's half. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Taken up by Heritage. Oh, this is great hands. And Again, good defense to touch. by Hillcrest. Good defense there by Hillcrest, knocking Heritage into touch. But at least Giddy, they're playing in the right area. Heritage are playing in the right area. But they need to make use of that position now in those right areas. Otherwise, they'll be punished. Heritage scrum. Eighth man takes it. Good defense by Hillcrest. Retain ball. They're shipping it wide. Flaff has a go. He's just stopped short again. And Hillcrest look like they might hold him up. He hasn't got any support. Support arrives a little bit late. It's a bit scrappy at the moment. Heritage trying to find their feet in the second half. Advantage is called by Scotty Jones. Are they going to take the points or are they going to go for a tap and go? I think they're going to tap and go. They're looking for those five points. Been turned over. It's been turned over right on the line. Hillcrest have got the ball back, and I'm sure this will be cleared from the base. No, nope, they decide to run it again. There we go. It's clear, but not a very good clearance. Mr. Jones calls them back. And he's called scrum down again. Hillcrest ball. At the moment, Giddy, it looks like Heritage are their own worst enemies. Yes, they have been since the first half. They have been camped in Eucharist 22, but they're failing to utilize that position. They need a big scrum here, Heritage, try to turn over this ball. And Eucharist needs a good clearance to relieve yeah, so pressure. Big scrum, big scrum. Uh, it's been knocked uh, on again by Hillcrest. Heritage have the ball. And it's been knocked on again. A lot of handling errors. The end has been a bit scrappy as well. This has uh, got to be a very big uh, concern for the coaches. I know it's early season, as we've said before. But they're going to have to start sorting out this handling errors. Otherwise, the game's never going to go forward. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg.
Very good clearance by Hillcrest here, taking the pressure off their own line. Um, but as I said before, Heritage are playing in the right half here, keeping the pressure on Hillcrest. Scores only 5 0. Converted try puts them ahead. Forward pass by Hucrest College after that good run by the number 15. Strom down to Eucharist College. Score line is currently 5 0 to Eucharist College. The guys from Mutare, Kumakumoyu.
Heritage have to score from here. It's imperative. Cannot see what uh, Scotty Jones has done, but it looks like uh, there's a player down injured. He's calling the assistant ref. No con by Heritage, no try. Ukraine still is 5 0. They've got to ship it out. They've got to ship it out. Yes. Oh, another handling error. Giddy, I think I've actually lost count of the handling errors in this game, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be better in the second half, but it seems like it's even worse. That's why we're not having a free-flowing game. Yeah, I think both sides are starting to get a bit tired and errors are creeping in again well they have like six or five days to get ready for the first game of the season mm. so i don't know if the coaches are going to be able to do that they need to get it into the boys his that that boy has to be kept yeah and it's 10 minutes to go towards the end i would uh, i would say the coaches roll start rolling on subs yet to have fresh feet on the ground We can see St. John's is starting to fill up for all the games coming late morning and into the afternoon. Yeah, we have many great games coming along. Uh, wherever you and Harare, please come along at St. John's College. We're here until after five. After <laughs> five. <laughs> come for the pin for the ultimate game of the day which will be St. George's versus St. John starting at four o'clock. Be a very good game Big to game. watch. Big game. Good game to watch. And also Loma Gandhi playing Falcon. Prince Edward playing Churchill. All should be very good games. Touchdown. Try time. Eucharist College. I think he scored. Yes. Scotty Jones has called the try. So at the moment, 10-0. The conversion to come. Some bad handling errors there at the back by Heritage. Allowing Hillcrest to get over the line.
Well done to Hillcrest. Converted try. 12-0. I think of about six, six minutes to go. Another handling error by Heritage College. Scrum to Eucharist. Score remains 12-0 in favor of Eucharist College. Giddy, another handling error. Oh, own worst enemies, I'm afraid. It's been the Achilles horse for Heritage College. We can't really count the number of no cones they have, they have done. I haven't, got enough, I haven't <laughs> got enough toes and I haven't got enough fingers. <laughs>
The dying seconds of the game and Heritage managed to score. I'm sure they'll convert it right into the post. But it doesn't end to a very, very scrappy game. <laughs> you can say that again, Craig. 